This is what I wanted as a kid. This is all I wanted. I mean, I almost want to stand back here. It's gonna taste terrible. Ready? Here's the reveal. This did not go in the direction I thought it was gonna go. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, if you recognize this, that means you saw our video. We've been doing this series recently where we go over infomercials like from the early aughts and late 90s, my time of infomercials, and we just talked about the turbo cooker, and Chris found it and sent it to me, and it came with recipe cards, so we thought today we would cook from the turbo cooker. This thing is on its last leg. So if you remember from the infomercial, this was what Kathy Mitchell, this is what she would wear or wearing. I went through all the recipes. Now some of the recipes, I, they have a ton of recipes. I thought we would make the most interesting one that we saw, is that we were gonna make the incredible cherry and cola chocolate muffins. If you remember this recipe, she made chocolate muffins with Diet Coke. So this is what we're gonna make today. And I just wanna see, because they made it seem so easy in the commercials. You ready for dessert? Dessert. All right, now take a look. Because first yes. of all, I want you to see how beautiful and high they rise when you bake them in the turbo cooker. Oh, Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful. No time at all. This says it's gonna be prepared, ready in 10 minutes, serve six. So I'm gonna follow the ingredients and we're just gonna measure out 10 minutes and we'll see if we can do it. How's that sound? So if you're watching this on YouTube, we have a Patreon version which is longer that we're releasing. And so it's at Patreon Mateo Lane. The link is in the description. So if you wanna see the full video of us getting ready, putting it all together, me changing my shirt, you can watch it. First I'll read off the ingredients. Ingredients, 18 ounce box chocolate cake mix. Not necessary to use oil as per box directions. Egg, 21 ounce can of cherry pie filling. I'm opting out of the cherry pie filling. Non-stick spray, we don't care that much. I don't care if it's, you know. In liquids, a 12 ounce can of diet soda. Use one third of cake mix by measuring out one cup and two tablespoons of mix into a mixing bowl. So I'm only using one third of the cake mix. So, okay, should we start the timer? Timer, 10. Start. Okay. In a bowl, mix a portion of the cake mix, egg, and a half a cup of Diet Cola. Whisk until blended. So one cup and two tablespoons. I mean, I feel like I'm rushed now because it's, we have, I'm, because I have a, a t no, I have no time. All right, so now here's all the, oh God. Oh, this, I feel like Nick. You know who would love this? Nick. Nick would love this. He would be like, oh, I think it's great. This is what Nick thinks an air fryer is. So this is one cup. Right? How many tablespoons? One cup and two tablespoons. Okay. So is that what I'm doing? I'm opting out of the oil for the Diet Coke? That's what she said in the commercial, right? But I left out the oil. Keeps it a lot healthier. Much healthier. And I replaced the water in the mix with Diet Cola. That... Oh, I have to preheat the, oh no, I don't have to preheat the oven. I'm doing it in the turbo cooker. I'm nervous making this. Okay. In a bowl, mix the portion in one egg. Okay, so the egg, we can do that. Egg is in, and a half a cup of Diet Cola. This is, as an adult, honestly, I'll drink it. Like if I go to the comedy cellar, I drink more diet soda than I usually would, but at home I don't drink it. Wow, it's so annoying to measure soda. Okay, that's about it. It's just sugar on sugar on sugar. Okay, so we're gonna mix it. Now there's no oil in this because I guess the oil is the part that makes you gain weight. That's what Kathy Mitchell said. So we're using Diet Cola as a substitute. Okay. I think that's mixed pretty well, right? Next, get the turbo cooker ready. Spray muffin pan with nonstick spray. We don't have it, who cares? And fill with mixture. Keep remaining Diet Cola for step one. Step one? What? You have to use it in the turbo cooker. For what? I thought you used the water. Imagine all this for the turbo cooker. Is that enough or is that too much? Because I don't know. All right, I think that's just enough, right? This is gonna be ready in 10 minutes. See, this is the part that they don't show in the infomercial. Everything's already pre-made, so you're like, I guess it is really easy. And then you get it at home and you're scraping the bottom of the goddamn bowl with your Diet Cola chocolate mix. Yeah, how long does the valve have to be closed for? The whole time, okay. I should have bought an onion. Put the onion in there with it too. And I you asked me about flavoring. Yes, yes. All right, here's the deal. I've got an onion. I'm gonna set it right on the rack no. next to those cupcakes. I can't wait till we make, because they have a carbonara recipe. So, 10 minutes, my fucking ass. Maybe they mean 10 minutes for the cook time. No, it does say ready in 10 minutes. Okay. Oh, the Diet Coke doesn't taste good. So it goes like this, and then, well, how much water do I have to put in? It doesn't say how much water. Here we go. So that's it, she did it with the topping, which we're not doing. All right, we'll use Diet Cola, okay? Add the remainder of the Diet Cola in the base. There's the Diet Cola in our base. This is awful. And this is what I wanted as a kit. This is all I wanted. Cover it, 
Place the steam rack in a position. Cover valve closed. Closed. Okay. And cook on high for 10 minutes. Okay, so in 10 minutes, we should have delicious moist cupcakes. Should I clean this while we're waiting? But they said there's no mess. This is a mess. Like, what, what does she mean, not a mess? Did the person making the turbo cooker think like this was gonna change like the culinary world or do you think they literally were just making something to make a quick cash grab? It's so stupid, it's smart. Look, they won us over. Here we are. We are here, ready to cook. What do we think of this Kathy Mitchell shirt? Right now we're cooking diet cola. Is this gonna light the house on fire? We're cooking diet cola on the bottom to cook a diet cola mixed chocolate muffin. Mm. It's smoking. Is that steam or is it gonna light on fire? Yeah, it's steam. If this blows up my kitchen, Chris, I'm a little afraid of it, aren't you? Doesn't it look like fire? But we didn't put anything in there that can burn, right? Is that fire or steam? That is steam, because it's disappearing. I mean, I almost want to stand back here. For muffins? For muffins. It's a little scary. And also, again, it looks like a UFO. I mean, it is huge. It's the size of my other pot that I make like bolognese in. Do you think that the technology really works? I mean, the way that they describe it in the commercial is like, with this new technology now available to the public. I guess only NASA was using it to cook lunch, I guess. It's supposed to swirl around, right? I swear to God, if there's a drop of Diet Coke on the bottom of that fucking pan, it's gonna taste terrible. Ugh, it's gonna taste awful. But then we gotta let them cool down, right? I had to clean the fuck out of that thing. Oh my God. I'm. Can you see how afraid, look at my body language. I won't even get near it. Now, do we take the lid off immediately? It should be done, so yeah, right? Out of all the infomercials, I could see this being used the most. Or like, no, the magic bullet, that would be number one. Which if you've not seen it, Gabby Bell and I, who's a great YouTuber, her and I did a video together of us making fun of the magic bullet infomercial. Okay, we are at our end. Three, two, and one. There we go. Off, open the valve first. Opening the valve does jack. Shit. Ready? Here's the reveal. I mean, it did bake them. Wow, it did something. <laughs> I have to go. <laughs> Can I be honest? I'm shocked. I'm shocked. They don't look horrible. They don't look good either, Chris. Okay. But these gotta cool down a bit. So why don't I clean this up? Unexpected. <laughs> Unexpected. <laughs> Not expected. They are, they really are fake. <laughs> we haven't tried them though, Chris. That's the thing, we have to try them. It did something, but they are not, we've not eaten them yet. So they say, it's non-stick, they. What an American phrase to constantly refer to something as they. We say they for everything. We're like, they, 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 they. And then conservatives are like, I can't remember pronouns. I'm like, we use it for everything. I guess this is it, right? If it's non-stick, is it not, so is it clean now? That's the cleaning pro, I mean, yeah. The cleaning process wasn't hard. So far, so far the commercial's not wrong. We haven't tried it yet, so that's the only thing. As of, so far, there's like, a a sort of chocolate smell in the air, but I wouldn't call it chocolate. Does that make sense? There's like the essence of chocolate in the air, but again, I wouldn't consider it chocolate. So, oh, they're... <laughs> Let's try and get one out. I mean, it might need to cool, they might need to really cool off. Oh! What if it's good? No chance. Here we go. Chocolate. All right. Not a hint of onion. Now let me oh, show you how- So moist. Okay. It's honestly moist and delicious. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't lying. <laughs> moist. He didn't need oil. You had a second bite. Chris, try. It's not horrible. But it's moist. It doesn't taste like Coke. <laughs> Was Kathy Mitchell right? <laughs> Look, I will say, they're not the greatest cupcakes, okay? They have like that aspartame like sh taste to it. Do you know what I'm talking about? I did not expect that. I'm like rethinking my entire life right now. Do we try the breakfast sausage um, for the next episode? And look, there was really, there was no cleanup. It's clean.
This did not go in the direction I thought it was gonna go. I am shocked. Okay, well, I'm a tail lane. I'm blown away. The turbo cooker did exactly what it said it was gonna do. That is shocking. Maybe it's just Kathy Mitchell. Maybe she really turned us off from him. If you wanna see the full version of this, we're starting a Patreon, so you can go to Patreon Mateo Lane and uh, you'll see everything. All the behind the scenes, all the prepping, everything that we do to make this whole dog and pony show happen. We'll be also doing Q and A's. We'll be releasing stand up earlier. So just like a little extra stuff if you enjoy our YouTube channel, just a little extra stuff for you to check out. So make sure to check that out. The link is in the description. I'm on tour, MateoLaneComedy.com. Come see me on tour. I'm gonna be in Europe. So we still have tickets left for Dublin and a little left for Berlin. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see you soon. That's crazy. Okay.